Okay, now we're back in uh, 3ds Max and uh, let's start uh, with the texturing the carpet here. So, press M to open the material editor and uh, let's bring in our textures here. So, this is uh, the carpet texture that uh, we created and at the same time I can bring in the couch texture and uh, the table leg as well yeah uh, let's uh, drag and drop the carpet material on the plane and uh, lower the opacity to uh, 50 and uh, then uh, alt w and uh, isolate selection Now let's see if we can uh, fit this one, this uh, carpet here. Move that up a bit, like that. You can see with the and uh, let's uh, make this a little wide, wider. And uh, yeah, like that. Doesn't uh, need to be. Uh, We will only see this carpet uh, through the hole, not uh, on out here. Okay, that seems good. Uh, exit isolation mode and uh, uh, select the front of the sofa. Open uh, the material editor again and uh, drag and drop that material onto there. Uh, now we can uh, scrub forward in time. So approximately right and press uh, isolate selection and uh, open the material editor again and lower the opacity to uh, 50 we can uh, increase the opacity again here so uh, now let's uh, move this into position that is in the middle and uh, scroll that back a bit and uh, that looks good now it uh, is uh, connected here and but the bottom here doesn't really line up so if we make that smaller So let's exit the isolation mode and uh, okay now we're going to add the texture to the table leg so uh, open the material editor and uh, drop the texture on there on there and uh, type uh, unwrap and apply it uh, actually we're going to uh, modify the leg a little more so isolate selection editable poly edge yes select all of them press F3 so we can see it a bit more clearly uh, connect and uh, this should be somewhere here let's exit the isolation mode and press camera and if we can see how it looks uh, on the image here, of course, uh, it uh, gets a little narrower down here. So uh, approximately one uh, third of the length. So uh, go back to isolation selection and uh, change the viewport to its per perspective and uh, that means uh, that uh, around uh, there so
So, now add a unwrap UVW modifier, face, select all of them, uh, check the box, and uh, then uh, edit. Okay, here the they are, and uh, mapping, unfold, okay. Uh, now it uh, is upside down, but we can uh, rotate that. Uh, exit that, uh, press face, and edit again to uh, make it uh, editable. And rotate that, and uh, scale it down just a bit. Okay, now let's add uh, the texture to this background. And we can map here. And uh, we're going to uh, select these two and uh, break or detach or something like that. Ah, this menu, I don't really understand why it does that. So now these are separate pieces, and we can uh, just uh, move these to the correct position, and uh, just move these to where they should be, and uh, go to vertex and move uh, them uh, to the correct positions here. the photoshops navigating in photoshop that I always use the spacebar button okay let's move these into and uh, put it in position here then we can uh, close this down and see that we have this perfect leg Okay, this uh, leg is uh, now finished. You can see it uh, looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, now there is one more thing we must do. So go to perspective view. You can see that uh, even though I deleted this part in uh, Photoshop, uh, it is there again. So uh, we need to go back to uh, materials, uh, go to the sofa material, couch material, and go down to uh, maps and drag this uh, map down to opacity, copy, and uh, then uh, use the alpha. Now you can see there is an edge on the sofa. So. Now it is only the the table left to texture and uh, file the tab table with the table. Uh, press M and make standard and uh, press uh, multiply sub object material. Uh, discard old method. And add uh, this to the table. Now, let's do this. Create a new matte shadow material, and uh, no tweaking is needed. So, drag and drop that on the slot number one as an instance, and then we can just uh, 